George, on your website, you wrote, and I quote you, your mission is to share your experiences, good and bad, to connect and bring positive change. Can you give me an example of one bad and one good experience and why you want to bring positive change and how? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I was thinking a lot about my tagline for the, for the site and uh, I think from a, a pretty young age, I, I would always want to share my experiences, right? Whether it's online, offline, uh, and I figured, obviously, I'd love to share good experiences, like things I'm accomplishing, things I'm, I'm improving on. But I think it, it wouldn't be necessarily fair not to share the, the other side of that. And so that's why the tagline says I'm sharing good and bad experiences. From the sort of bad aspect, I always share the, the story about, you know, me kind of working at GE. Um, so I'll just kind of repeat it if, if people haven't heard this yet. Um, but I was in my third year of university, joined General Electric. I was involved in their financial management program, right, which is like a leading um, business program. <clears throat> and at the time, I wasn't, I, I didn't necessarily appreciate it as much, let's put it that way, you know, and I wasn't necessarily sure what I was getting myself into. Mm -hmm. But um, a mentor of mine at the time told me to apply to, to this program. So I apply, I go through this, the summer ringer, and uh, basically the summer internship is a feeder system into the two year program. So you have to, like your hiring manager has to basically checklist you off and say, listen, great candidate for the FMP program. I sit down with my, with my hiring manager and he says, George, listen, I don't think this is, you know, the right role for you. I think you're, you're obviously a great individual, a great performer, but this is not, the, I think what you'll be very good at. And, and that was very difficult for me. Uh, the role was more around FBNA, you know, cost accounting, and it just wasn't something I was, you know, super good at. I wanted more to be client facing. And I think he realized that. So having that conversation where, you know, I wasn't necessarily succeeding and I was basically told that I wasn't going to be put into the two-year program mm -hmm. uh, was a bit of a bummer, right? And uh, yes. uh, coming from, you know, university and if you do well in university and you, you, you get told that, especially from a, from a company like GE, you yeah. know, like you're not going to make it to the FMP program, it kind of shatters your motivation a little bit. And, and so I was kind of upset. Yeah, you start doubting yourself, right? Like, well, if, if GE says no to me, who the hell is going to say yes, right? From those big corps. Um, so I think that was a bit tough to to look in the mirror and be like, all right, let's let's pick it back up and we'll figure things out. But that was probably the best thing to ever happen to me. So that's kind of one of the advices I always tell is, even though that was a very shitty moment in my life, uh, from a career perspective at least, mm -hmm. it, it was really good because I didn't see at the time that it was it was probably the best thing to happen mm -hmm. because I went back to university in my fourth year by chance, I was looking at career opportunities at TMX, and they happened to just launch their first associate program, which is a two-year program. You rotate in different divisions. And I had a mentor of mine who was an executive there, Jean de Gagne, who worked at TMX. I let him know that, listen, I want to apply. He wished me luck. I did three interviews and ended up um, you know, joining the Toronto Stock Exchange in their first cohort. And I was the, first, I was the only uh, hire, actually, from, a, from an external university. So the four people they took on that first cohort, three of them were already interns at TMX. I was the only external hire. So, so to answer your second question, that was probably the best thing to ever happen uh, because it, it's been a great ride with them. And I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot. And uh, I attribute a lot of my passion for entrepreneur, entrepreneurship to, the, to TSX. So, yeah, thank you again for sharing. And what about the positive impact? Why you think that that's important? A lot of people are talking this day about positive impact, bringing change to the world. Why do you think it's important these days? I think there's a lot of negativity out there as well, right? Like, come on, man. I mean, we, we, we both from a, come from a country where just now there, there are protests and I call my, my parents still live in Lebanon, mm -hmm. you know, and I call them and uh, it's a bit more difficult there, right? Like, look, I mean, I don't, I don't know if you can see behind me, but we, we live in a very nice city. You live in Vancouver. What do we have to worry about? You know, yeah. more than right? More than like, obviously, you know, bills, groceries, or cleaning the house, like that's our chores, right? Yeah. But I think the reality for a lot of people back home who don't have this opportunity, it's, it's a much more difficult life, which you, you obviously know. Yeah. So I think that adjusting your perspective into not making everything dramatic or mm -hmm. not making everything bigger than it is. Yes. Because where we live, we're in the 1%. I don't care about your income level. As obviously, so long as you're, you're I think you're at a certain level. I think we both know what that is. Yes. Then, then your, your reality is very different than, than maybe two thirds of the world. Yeah. So I think that's why I just want to share positive uh, experiences, whether it's fitness, whether it's entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, starting a podcast like you did and like I did. And obviously we, I never was a host of a show before, you know, I, I studied finance and this isn't my, my gig. 
So I, I think sharing the positive is important. Mm. It's important not to be too delusional because sometimes, you, and I think you come across people who are extremely positive, like everything is rainbows and sunshines. And, and even that it has a, has a challenge, right? That's why I say adjust your perspective. Mm-hmm. And if you travel and, and if you, you're aware of these things, it just makes you appreciate what you, what you and I have and you don't take it for granted. Yeah. So that's important. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So again, I wasn't a broadcast. I just had an idea to give back to the community. And, I, and one time one person said, thank you for your interviews. It helped me to find a job. That's great. That was one person I did an impact. That's the great. And again, traveling and seeing the world where people like even like, having water or coffee is a challenge. And here we take it for granted. I think I agree with you that the perspective, it should be very important and take it things very as it is and not, no drama. And again, thank you for mm-hmm. sharing that, George. And for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of having an impact or experiences, please share it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with George.